Hey folks, I have a very quick video to make today because it is a request. I thought I had this before, but I can't seem to find it. So we're just gonna very quickly um, build an output template in Substance Painter, um, in this case, to get your stuff to Second Life. So we'll go over that very quickly. Hope you enjoy. Okay, we've just jumped into Substance Painter. I'm just using an old model. I'm not going to do any setup or anything like that. Although I will remind you um, that you should be using OpenGL rather than DirectX. That's just a consequence of the way Second Life does things. We've already covered in a separate video how to do the PBR workflow, and that's all I'm doing anymore. Um, I don't really like the baked on light and stuff like that um, because obviously it has unrealistic results. Um, before PBR materials, yeah, it was probably the best way to go, uh, but I think that now we have something a little different. So here's my model. I've got you know three texture sets, and I'm going to go to export textures. So we're going to just go here, create a new template. We're going to call it Second Life. Boom. Now, what do we need from Second Life? Well, the first thing we're going to need is going to be a full color. So up here, output maps, RGB. And over here, we have what's called 2D view. And essentially, we're just gonna drag this onto this box and say RGB channels, there we go. We have our 2D view. Naming, um, I'm kind of obsessive about this. Right here, this little dollar sign, those are variables. And so this is gonna be the name of the mesh, whatever your model's called. Then I put a dash, Then we're gonna say the texture set, so that will say you know, diving board or metal cross beams, metal stand, whatever it, those are called. And then I'll just say uh, 2D view or just 2D. So that when it names it, it will name it after the mesh first and then the texture set and then 2D. So we're, we'll know what our files look like. Okay, now that will get you done. That will show you basically what you're looking at in Substance Painter onto your Second Life model for just a regular texture. If you wanted to add a bump map or normal map, we're gonna just do that real quick. That's gonna need to be RGB as well because of course those normals are um, different colors. That's what sets the height of what we're looking at. So we have DirectX and OpenGL. Of course, we're gonna use OpenGL. Drag that right here. We're gonna say RGB channels, yes. Now, let's try mesh. Oops. You can type this all in too. You, of course, you don't have to use the menu, although if you type as badly as I do. So then we'll just say normal. There we go. I'll make that a, a target as well. Again, that's just a personal preference. You can just leave it as ping. Okay, one more. Um, specular. Specular is kind of funny. There's in, in the old Second Life system before PBR stuff, um, Specular was, there was a, basically a Specular color as well as a reflectivity dealy. Um, but what I like to do here, and if, if you do something different, um, let me know in the comments or, you know, just kind of let me know. But I'm just going to go, oh, geez, what did I do? Okay, what I'm going to do is add a, a new grayscale because basically the shininess is just going to be... Uh, between you know dark and light that's all it's going to be white and black and everything in between so we have this glossiness over here glossiness number two instead of using specular because that's going to be a specular color i'm going to grab this drag it over here put it on the gray channel so there we have it that is our whole setup um, now when we go here um, over to settings i should be able to say second life not from cache there we go. And of course you can overwrite your target thing. Um, let's just, actually let's just leave it at pink because it should be easier to look at. And we're gonna go ahead and export. And there we go, look at those names. So, let's just pop over to here. Okay, diving board. There's some other ones here before I named it. Uh, diving board 2D. There's our diving board texture. Um, and again, there are shadows and light you know, baked into that. If you don't want shadows and light, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So here's our you know, 2D view. 
right? There's a normal map. There's not much going on with the normal map, although the specular, you can see, we're kind of having some shiny spots here where this the texture of the wood um, it shines in the, the high parts. Okay, then here's our cross beams. So everything's looking pretty good. So you can go ahead and upload these in the Second Life. There you have it. Um, again, I do strongly recommend just use PBR because it's better and it looks better. And Second Life will look better the more people start to use these new options that we have. Um, I know that, you know, just like when, when Mesh first came out, you know, people were against that too. And so, of course, it's something we deal with. Anyway, <clears throat> back over here, let's start a new RGB. Um, and you can do this for as many things as you want. So basically play around with these and see what works best for you. I showed you before how you can just set up an ambient occlusion, just an AO map um, very easily. But so let's do mesh. Let's do texture sets. There's a, there's a lot that you can do. Um, and it's just kind of fun. So let's just call this, oh geez, I don't know, diffuse. All right. So here, let's grab this diffuse, grab it over here, RGB channels. Okay. You'll see on our output template on Second Life, we did add this diffuse thing, right? So what's the diffuse going to look like? Well, we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and export that. Ta-da. Now, okay, here's diving board 2D. That's what that looks like. Here's diving board diffuse. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but there is no lighting information here. This is just a pure light free texture, no shadows, no light, no nothing. So if that's what you're after, you can get that. And then of course you can use your normal and your specular to try to maybe jazz things up. But again, I would highly recommend um, just going with PBR. It's awesome. So anyway, I hope that helps. Have a great day. <laughs>